Lights Are Us, a short history of light bulbs and what makes them work. So many different lights to choose from. Where do I begin? They're the incandescent bulbs and the compact fluorescent or CFLs. And now we have LEDs also. Hello, I'm Thomas Edison. I invented the incandescent light bulb in 1879. It's a simple unit, a glass shell with a filament inside that lights up and also heats up. Hi, I'm Edward Hammer. I figured out how to make a compact fluorescent light, compact, in 1976. See all those little swirls on the light bulb? It's much better than those long flickering tubes that you, or maybe your parents, or even your grandparents, had in the kitchen ceiling once upon a time. And I'm Nick Holenyak, Jr. I invented the first LED at General Electric in 1962. So, you flip the switch on and the light goes on. But wait, first you have to plug it in. And that plug connects to wires in your house, which connect to wires on the telephone poles, which connects ultimately to the power plant where they make electricity. That power plant might burn natural gas or oil or maybe coal to generate electricity. Or the electricity could come from a solar field. Or it could come from wind turbines. But today, instead of getting power from the power plant where they're burning things, our handy dandy stationary bike is going to serve as our power plant because our genius star of the show figured out how to connect this bike to a generator. And he is going to use his pedal power to generate electricity and light up some light bulbs. Watts our power, and today that power comes from the legs of our pedaling genius. We have a whole bunch of light bulbs for you, from LEDs to compact fluorescence to incandescence. And we have this fancy switchboard allow us to switch from one light bulb to the next. The first bulb is the 10 watt LED. It's really easy to pedal to make that one light up. Just like riding your bike on flat ground. Now we have the CFL. It takes about the same amount of power. Moving to the incandescent, takes a little more power. Here's a 100 watt incandescent, 10 times more power than the LED. It's like going up a hill. Next, we have the 125 watt incandescent. This bulb is actually used to heat up terrariums. So the energy is going into heat as well as light, which can be a problem if you're using a bulb to light your house in the middle of summer. And lastly, we have the 200 watt incandescent. 20 times as much power is needed compared 
to the LED and it doesn't even shine that brightly. It takes a whole lot of power to light up this 200 watt bulb. It's like riding up a really steep hill. Lastly, we have our 900 watt toaster. That's a lot of powers required to heat this thing up. So we're gonna test it out with a little piece of delicious multi-grain bread. See how hard he's working? 900 watts. Do you think he can create enough power to make that toast warm and crispy? Let's see. It's just cold. Now it's your turn. Which light bulb uses the most pedaling power to light up? The incandescent uses the most power to light up because it creates light and heat. Which light bulb uses the least pedaling power to light up? The LED uses the least power to light up. Which light bulb uses the least amount of electricity, thereby keeping your electric bill low? The LED uses the least electricity, so you will save on your electric bill. That's all, folks. Thank you for watching.